the Christie's auction for digital artist Beeple, uh, whose real name is uh, Mike Winkleman, uh, coming to a close a few moments ago. Uh, the final bid, David? $69 million. Oh, my gosh. Uh, as of six months ago, what? Beeple had yet to sell any work. And most of America and the world are still trying to understand yes. how NFTs fit into overall asset valuations. But Carl, help uh, me. Carl, help me understand. Not sure, this. Help not me. Sure I'm relying on you and Morgan to explain <laughs> this to me. I, I can say non fungible. What is a non fungible uh, okay. token? But that's about where, where my understanding ends. Yeah. Um, I, 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 all right. Sixty nine right. million dollars. Winkleman. Way to go. Winkleman. Way yeah. to make it happen. People. <laughs> People. This is incredible, too. I mean, this is just this is a, the NFT situation has just kind of exploded onto the scene and, and the numbers behind it. I mean, just to see sixty nine million dollars. Um, I'll, I'll tell you this. It's uh, it's tied to the Ethereum blockchain, right. David. And if right. you take a look at Ether, which is the uh, cryptocurrency tied to that, that's higher again today, too. In fact, we have seen Ether outperforming Bitcoin as of late because there's some supply changes happening to that cryptocurrency. Um, but yeah, this is, it's like you, you Google NFT right now, and I know they've been covering it pretty intensely on Squawk Alley, Carl, um, but you, you Google it right now and there's all kinds of explainers out there and it's still, I have to say, a little bit confusing. <laughs> Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.